Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which prints all k sum paths in a binary tree. First, let us take an example. For the input tree, if k is equal to 5, the output will be all the paths in the tree which has sum equal to 5. Now, let us see the approach. The basic idea to solve the problem is to do a pre-order traversal of the given tree. We also need a vector to keep track of the path that led to that node. At each node, we check if there are any path that sums to k. If yes, then we print the path and proceed recursively to print each path. Next, let us see the algorithm. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We take sum as 8. So, we pass the root node that is 1, a vector path and 8 to k in the print k path util function. Since root is not null, we add current node to the path. So, we push 1 to the path. Next, we pass the left child of 1 that is 7 using a call stack. So root will point to 7. Since root is not null, we add it to the path vector and pass the left child of 7 which is null. Since root is null, we return to the previous call. Next we pass the right child of 7 which is also null. So root will again point to null. Since root is null, we return to the previous call. Now execution for root 7 is resumed and we take a variable f initialized to 0. Next we run a for loop from path.size to 0 and add f to element at path at j. So f will be equal to 8 in the second iteration. The condition f is equal to k gets satisfied in the second iteration and we call the print vector function which prints the elements of path vector. Next we remove current element from path vector. So 7 will be removed. We finish execution for root 7 and resume execution for 1 and hence pass the right child of 1 that is 3. Now as root is not null we push 3 into the vector path. Next, we pass the left child of 3 which is 5. Since root is not null, we add 5 to the path vector. Next, we pass the left child of 5 which is null. Since root is null, we return to the previous call. Next, we pass the right child of 5 which is also null. Again, as root is null, we return to the previous call. Now, for root 5, we take a f variable initialized to 0. Next, we run a for loop from path size to 0 and add elements at j to f. So, f will be first 5 which is the last element in the path vector. Next, f will be equal to 5 plus 3 that is 8. The condition f is equal to k gets satisfied and we print elements from j to path size. So, 3 and 5 will be printed. Next, f becomes 8 plus 1 that is 9. Now, as f is not 8, we come out of the for loop and remove the last element from the path vector that is 5 we return to the previous call. Now we pass the right child of 3 that is 4. So root will point to 4. Since root is not null, we add it to the path array. Next we pass the left and right children of 4. Since both are null, we just return to execution for node 4. So we take our f variable initialized to 0 and run a for loop from path.size to 0. We add elements at path j to f. So, first 4 will be added. 
since 4 is not equal to k, we add 3 to f, so f becomes 7. Next, we add 1 to f, so f becomes 8. Now, as f is equal to 8, the if condition gets satisfied and we print path vector from j to size of path vector. We finish iteration in the for loop and remove 4 from the path and finish execution for node 4. Execution for node 3 is resumed and we take f is equal to 0 for 3. We run a for loop from path size to 0 and add elements to f and keep on checking if f is equal to k. So first f will be 3. Since f is not equal to k for the next iteration f will be 4. Again f is not equal to k and we finish execution for node 3 and remove it from the path vector. Execution for node 1 is resumed and clearly f cannot be equal to k as there is only one element in path array that is 1. So we have the final output and finish execution for this program. With this we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.